Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to pair and disable your IR remotes for your iMac or MacBook Pro which also work with um, your Apple TV if you have one. So this one's the Apple TV one that came uh, first with the Apple TVs and then they updated the IR remotes to look like this. And this is the old version one, so it's white. Okay, so we're just going to get right into it. Uh, on your Mac or MacBook Pro, okay, any Mac that you got, you got to go to System Preferences. So one way to find out system preferences is to go to Apple and then you'll see system preferences right here okay or you can go to the right side top side and you can just click here and type in system preferences so that way you can find system preferences this is the easiest way to find it just click on it it's gonna open up and here you go this is how system preferences look like um, you're gonna go into security and privacy in security and privacy we're gonna unlock it first of all so just click here you're gonna need to put your password if you have one I'm just gonna click on lock all right then we're just gonna click on advanced once we are on advanced here we can see how to disable our remote control so with my MacBook Pro I don't want any remote controls to work on it as you know any remote control can work on it even if you don't pair it up um, they usually do work right away so that gets quite annoying with me so that's why you just click on this click OK and it no remote control will work on, on it anymore um, the reason that it gets annoying for me is because I have an Apple TV so the remote control um, once I start clicking on stuff it controls my MacBook so that's annoying I just want it to work with my Apple TV and that's it so that's why I do that um, if you want to pair it up you know if this is clicked on uncheck it and you're gonna see this pair right here just click on it and do exactly what it tells you so not too far away from your you can be a couple like a meter away from your uh, Mac don't worry about it it should work anyways and you're gonna press the menu button and the next okay so you just have to hold those buttons so hold the menu and the next buttons until paired okay um, you will see that on your screen and then you just got to click OK and that's about it once again you don't really have to do this pair thing it should work automatically um, if you really do have to just uh, press pair but before doing that I would check the batteries if they're OK on your remote control they usually last a very long time I've seen remote controls with the same battery after three years that's usually because people don't use them as much but um, it's also because they're really good and doesn't use that much energy anyways your remote control so that's one of the reasons why these last so long um, however do check your batteries first before you have to go through the pairing process um, that's all you have to do to pair your remote controls so here you see the menu okay menu key and then the next keys so just do exactly what it tells you and you should be able to pair it once again check your batteries if it's not pairing right away because you really don't have to click on this option usually okay it's really odd that you have to do it uh, once again the old remote control for uh, your iMac also works on your Apple TV just in case if you guys have one um, that's about it for this video if you guys have any problems errors or any further questions just write them down here below in the comments area and don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you